Why does pulmonary edema occur when we have left-sided failure, left ventricular failure? Well, let me show you. Okay, so it's all due to the fact of a pressure problem within the alveoli that's occurring because of the failure of this left ventricle. When this left ventricle fails, it means that blood is not able to move nearly as effectively through the aorta to be pumped through systemic circulation. But here's the thing, is that we still have blood moving towards this left ventricle from the alveoli because we need to move blood in order to oxygenate it. But if this left ventricle is failing, it means that the flow is actually going to be decreased, increasing the pressure. And the pressure is now gonna be put on the circulation around an alveoli like so. So if this was the transition point between deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood, which is happening here in the alveoli when we have respiration occur, we're going to have an increase in pressure at this particular point. So we have good flow coming this way into the alveoli, but we have poor flow coming out of the alveoli, creating that pressure problem. And with pressure and fluids, it always takes the path of least resistance. And the path of least resistance is going to be the alveoli creating pulmonary edema and fluid accumulation in that area.